Let's Hello and welcome to the New Zealand League of Legends High School oh. Championship for 2020. Uh, I'm Ed and I'm usually joined by Calvin, but today I'm joined by Hannah here. Um, and we're super excited to get into today's game. We've got two McLean's college teams up against each other. McLean's Prem 3 versus McLean's Prem 1. Uh, and yeah, so we've got McLean's Prem 3 on the blue side with Prem 1 on the red side. Uh, both teams are currently at 5-2 at the moment, so they're more towards the top of the leaderboard. Um, but it's not too late to enter your teams. If you're sitting at home and you've got four friends and a teacher mm -hmm. who can register you, it's not too late to get in and uh, get your hand on some of the prizes we've got. We've got lots of in-game prizes, lots of right points, and it's not too late to get your hands on that if you, because we've still got the um, the playoffs after after we've got three more weeks. So we've got the playoffs after then, and no matter what rank you are, you still have a chance to get some in-game prizes on the kind of um, recreational bracket, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, we're still accepting those applications for those in-game prizes. Also, our two-degree scholarship. We're looking for when we uh, for a two-degree scholarship. That's uh, the first and only scholarship we've got in New Zealand at the moment. That's here at the University of Waikato, and we've got we're pretty much looking for leadership qualities. You've got our academic skills and a, a background in esports. Um, more specifically, more preferred is League of Legends. But if you've got any other backgrounds in esports, we're super welcoming for those ones as well. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything. Excited for this game? Yeah, excited to see. <clears throat> excited to be on the cast finally. Yep. Always lurking in the chat here and there. But uh, Calvin, uh, being away is a good opportunity for me to have a little bit of a turn. Cool. Uh, interesting to see you know, how both these teams that go to the same school, how they perform differently. Mm, exactly. So yeah, uh, just uh, for the link as well, I think we've got it on stream as well with uh, the uh, for the two degree scholarship. That go to wakato.ac.nz forward slash sport forward slash esports for more information about that scholarship there. And uh, yeah, we're still currently waiting on a, a few more members um, from one of the teams before we get into game. But it'll be a good time at the moment to have a chat about uh, Logitech G, who uh, brought to you this um, who pretty much partnership with us. We've got the yep. Logitech Blue Yeti mic, which you hear us on. We've got our blue, uh, sorry, our Logitech Pro headphones as well. And the 4K Brio mic that um, Calvin is such a fan of. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, we're on currently patch 14. So we've got some <clears> kind of <throat> minor changes going into this patch. As we're still, yeah, uh, not quite ready to get um, set up into the game. So we'll have a quick chat about the patch before we get into the game. Yeah, so new things in the patch. Carthus, a uh, little bit of a buff, they reckon, for the mid lane. A few changes there towards him, but his Q did get nerfed, so a little bit of a slower jungle clear coming through. See how that unfolds, because he did get the move speed back though. Um, very unlikely we'll see a Karthus tonight, probably. I didn't really see it out of either of these junglers, so I will not be seeing that change. But the Volibear change we might see. The champion uh, in the previous patch was just completely busted. The amount of sustain he has, uh, both in the jungle and in the top side, is just over the top. He would live any fight. Um, hopefully <clears throat> Riot's plans was to pull that back a little bit this patch So we'll see how that one turns out for them to be honest uh, And then just those small changes here and there for like Israel A Wukong. bit of a longer cooldown on the E Wukong a bit of a nerf as well I believe mm. um, But yeah, very minor stuff I think compared to like maybe the Karthus change and the Volibear change Yeah, and uh, we're here at the Omen Esports Arena at the University of Waikato as well Is this your first time here? Oh, oh no <clears throat> so um yeah what i so last year i helped with the main team uh assistant coach with that and this year i'm helping coach it as well so yeah hopefully we have good luck for our team all you guys in, in the chat support uaw yeah we'll hey. as well. we've also got the um valkyrie team as well the women's team um is currently practicing as well we've got them um working as well to, to get some good results as well for Waikato. Yeah. And we've got a lot of um, things going on the, behind the scenes as well. We've got a couple of our admins there. Ryan, of course, one of the um, first uh, first person who actually got the uh, two-degree scholarship. So he'll know a lot about that. Um, and we've got Luke as well, helping out with the admin stuff as well. Tom and um, we've got Dylan, uh, stream producing as well. He does 90% of our work. Basically, we just sit here and talk. Mm. Um, yeah, we're... Uh, um, we've got three more weeks of the kind of um, Swiss bracket format where we've got so we've got this week week eight and then we've got two more weeks after that where we will be kind of um, putting teams against each other <coughs> um, and then we've got the playoffs as well and so we'll be 
kind of ranking them into certain spots as well. So we've got the challenge bracket as well, where, you, as I was saying before, if it's your first time coming, if, even if you're 0-10, you've still got a, a chance to um, grasp some prizes. Yeah. And then you've got the um, other kind of uh, challenge, uh, the other um, competitive, sorry, tournament where uh, you've got that spot to go for number one spot and be flown uh, over to Australia maybe to, to uh, go for the Oceanic title, yeah. that one. So, um, yeah, we, <laughs> we, we currently still got a, a bit more time before we get started. So uh, we might just take a small break before we can um, get into the game and sort some things out. Uh, so this will be a good time. Grab a drink, grab some snacks, and we'll get back, back into the action.
Hey, and welcome back. We're finally here with the uh, draft of the moment. And yeah, so we just had a couple of issues with player rosters at the moment. So uh, blue team Prem 3, unfortunately have to forfeit this game due to being late and missing one of their players. So we've got Sir Dada from the um, Prem 2 team from McLean's filling in for, this, um, for their team at the moment. But uh, thank you so much for your patience, guys. And we'll be yeah. right back into it. Definitely. Thank you for waiting around, but finally a fresh few bands coming through. Uh, there's one of the ones that I predicted. There's the Wu. There's the Wukong. Wukong band coming out on blue side uh, delivery truck there. Likes to play with the Wukong. There's the Nunu band as well. Is there's that in the prediction the, list? I thought they were going to let the Nunu slide. Okay. I knew the Nunu was going to be in the game. Uh, unfortunately, I just didn't predict right on that one. Uh, the Anivia band, I didn't really look for that. The Darius is given now uh, with Sir Dada. He plays Darius and Trin only. Uh, be interesting to see if they leave the Trindamere up in this time round. Mm. Um, and then, because if you ban out the two champions he obviously plays, then he's forced into something he's probably not comfortable with. And then maybe you get away with something cheeky. Uh, like, he, he already plays uh, Wukong more top lane. He's probably got other things up his sleeves. Uh, is, are, are they going to ban? Yeah. Uh, the last Ooh, moment. They're gonna take the Lulu away. Lulu, yeah, a Lulu away from I consume bees. His um, probably most played support as well. But yeah. it's not the only thing that um, I consume bees plays. Uh, also quite proficient on Rakan and Nami. I like to that. But um, first pick for Prem Three team is gonna be the Trundle. Yeah, Trundle did get a bit of a nerf. So was it ten percent to his W attack speed in the earlier stages? I think it flattens out again. Later into the game, a Yasuo is coming in on R1, which is really, really interesting. Yeah. Is there was uh, a way to put it. I mean, mid lane picks in general, um, kind of, you want to leave to later because it's quite, can be quite easy to counter them, but it might just be something, um, the, more of a comfort pick perhaps, or just, um, it might be a bit more casual considering the, the result considering is, the result is, is, yeah. is, is given to them. But um, yeah, oh, we could be the Yasuo Gragas bot. That it could, could be, be, which is it's like fun. A it's fun case. Gragas being locked in here is really good as well. Uh, he does well into Trundle. <clears throat> He's a great jungler overall. Good clear, good gank potential, good overall damage as well. And he's, he's pretty tanky even with the AP build. Um, so if they want to keep him in the jungle, that's possible for them. A Cassidy is going to get locked in, which does really well into a Yasuo, but we'll see if there is going to be that Yasuo mid, like you said. I have a hunch it's bot. I want to, I want to see a Yasuo bot. I don't know. It's just, uh, um, I mean, it's it's in my uh, flex queue games with my mates. It's yeah, Greg is uh, Greg is Yasuo Chi. So yeah, I want I want to see that bot. But um, got quite a lot of um, we've seen we've seen Trundle. I'm pretty sure we've seen Trundle on the same team as Cassidy before. And in this um, competition, and it's had a bit of success, mainly because Trundle does really well in the mid game, mm. um, and it allows the the bridge to get to Cassidy to the late game. So the um, the two and the, the synergy of the jungle mid kind of cover each other's gaps within their weaknesses throughout the game. And Mordecai is a, um, kind of helps that out as well. It can be quite um, a nuisance in the top lane just by himself. Um, yep. Yeah, you don't really need to take care of him too much because he <clears> can kind of hold his own. Yeah, like Mordekaiser is going to be perfectly fine up in the top lane. Either he's always pushing, or he's just sitting under towers, CSing when he can. Uh, and right now, with Thresh being locked in, kind of, kind of puts off that Yasuo Greg oh, spot no, lane it's anymore. Not be that. It's probably yeah. Yeah. So unless it's Thresh mid, or, it, it could be something <laughs> cheesy like a Thresh top. Who knows? It's might be the new <laughs> thing. Um, first we had like Jana top, Soraka top, Sona top. Oh, hey, yeah. why not the just try Thresh? The new pick. The new one to pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. Uh, there's a Lucian band going to be coming through. Actually, one that I wrote down, which is pretty weird. I, it's odd to see red side ban out Lucian, considering Lucian is uh, one of the counter champions towards the Cassidy. Right. Uh, so if anything, like you should be the one looking for a Lucian. And even if blue side picks the Lucian in their team comp, it's kind of off theme with what they're trying to be right. accomplishing, which is hitting that late game Lucian. A champion that kind of falls off around that middle middle to later game where an adc such as aphelios uh varus uh maybe jinx if you want to whip that out or a cogmore they're just going to be a lot stronger when they hit those kind of three four items and mm. then run away with the game from there 
and uh, Kaiser is going to round up the um, last span for phase two with the Kinnan as well, <clears throat> uh, which, um, yeah, which prompts the Kale pick. Kale? So, we're playing Kale into Mordekaiser top. Yasuo is definitely going to be into Kassadin in the mid side. Looks like ADC is going to be last pick coming through. Israel did get hit with that nerf, like we said. An extra three seconds towards his E cooldown. But the champion's still going to be disgustingly broken. Man immune. Iceborne, Death Stance, he's just mm. never going to die. He can face tank whatever he wants, play really silly, and be rewarded for it, really. Um, <clears throat> they might lock in... I was going to say something like a Karma, or if they want, more engaged, just to set up the Cassidy or so the Nautilus. Uh, but Morgana's a pretty, pretty good set. option. Yeah, yeah, good pick as well. And it also means you can put a Black Shield on Cassidy and he goes nuts in the back line. Um, so yeah, I do quite like the um, composition <coughs> rounded out for Prem 3 on the blue side. Um, um, it'll be interesting to see, if, especially if the Heimerding was locked in. No, it's not going to happen, is it? Yeah, it will not be soon. Vayne in the end. So um, we've got Kale and Vayne also want to hit late game as well. Yeah. And Gragas does well in the early to mid. Um, and he has some impact in the late game as well, so he could probably get that there as well. Uh, it's just kind of going to depend on how um, Yasuo takes this uh, mid lane. I think if he if it's uh, if he can kind of keep his pressure on in the mid uh, in the mid game and keep away uh, keep Cassidy away from, from the gold that he kind of needs to get uh, get to the late game, then I think um, red uh, red side can pull ahead in this one. Yeah, definitely. Like red side's comp, even though we have a Cassidy on blue side as well as an Israel. Both of these comps are looking for later stages of the game, but Red has a little bit more CC that can come through, a little bit more impact in a team fight. Um, <clears throat> we have Kale, who's kind of that GG at 16 champion, like a Cassidy is. So it's kind of going to be interesting to see which one does it better, to be honest. Mm. Um, who gets kept alive the longest? Like, sure, Cassidy has the ability to jump in and out with that Rift Walk, but a Kale man, if you keep her alive long enough that she gets to just auto away, your whole team's going to be dead before Cassidy even gets an opportunity to get on someone like the Vayne, who's pretty slippery, uh, as well as Yasuo, who's slippery as well. Yeah, and, um, and speaking of kind of like slippery plays and things like that, we've got um, the likes of Cassidy and Inizra like that. So if you do see any great plays throughout this game, or if you're playing your own game uh, at the moment and you had some really good plays, uh, make sure to clip them, make sure to record them, send them through to us in our Discord. Um, that way it could be uh, mentioned, or sorry, rather... Um, yeah, you'll be on the Logitech G highlight of the week because we didn't get too many um, kind of submissions this week. Uh, however, we do have one uh, highlight of the week for all Logitech. But yeah, just make sure you record them, send them through it at Discord, and you can be in next week's uh, Logitech G replay of the week. But for this week, we've got uh, Sip and Songs from Hamilton Boys High with a Poppy 1v2 outplay. <clears throat> it's always good to see a Poppy pop off. Yeah, so in Twitch and the Rakan trying to push to get this uh, demolish off in the end, but uh, Twi uh, the Twitch is going to get caught out from the Poppy. Double knock up with the Rakan and Twitch, and uh, it looks like he's about half health. They can get him down, but uh, shutdown goes over to the Twitch, and uh, here comes Kaiser as well just to round out the kill and make sure it's all good. Yeah, just a little bit of overextension from the Twitch, but good eyes on the Poppy. Mm. Walking that little bit extra, hitting the E, and then just having the armor to just live through everything. We had Tarbies, we had that Glacial Shroud. What more can you ask for from a tank, really? Exactly, exactly. So yeah, if you see anything um, of the likes of that, or even better, make sure to record them, send them through <coughs> our Discord, and you'll be in next week's one. Uh, we uh, do ask for your patience one more time, as we just got to cut to a small spectator delay break. It'll just be a couple of minutes as we sync up and get ready to go, and we'll be right into the action. So don't go anywhere.
Hello and welcome back. We're right into the action. We've got McLean's Prem 3 versus McLean's Prem 1. Uh, so Prem 3 on the blue side and Prem 1 on the red side. Now, unfortunately, due to some um, roster issues as well, it's someone not joining in time, uh, it is going to be a forfeit of McLean's Prem 3. And so McLean's Prem 1 does have the win on this one already. But we're just going to have a um, match. So we've actually got something to, to show for tonight as well. And Hopefully it's going to be a good game. We've got a couple of late game comps on each side and um, got the red team kind of pushing down to see if they can get some early vision on the um, blue team's red buff. Yeah, really good invade. Um, blue side just, just a bit slacking there, uh, not holding their points firmly and then not putting down that kind of defensive vision as well to stop an invade like that. So <clears throat> what we're seeing out of Prem 1, you get a ward on Raptor Brush, you get a ward on red buff itself. Really, really good stuff for you. This is really bad for the cow. Do not turn to fight. Oh, no. She's gonna have to recall. It started the wave as well. It might have to be the teleport blown as well. Mm. Good on. Ah, uh, she can eat corrupting pots. Range. She's gonna lose this lane anyway. It's 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 okay as long as she just stays nice and safe around that area where she is right now. Mordekaiz is kind of. He's he's doing the wave really good right now actually. So yeah, when you save it down the wave really good, he's kind of um, bunched it up. And kind of what like uh, impact does that kind of have? So what well, we're going to see, uh, it's kind of scuffed now just because of the passive that came through. But <clears throat> what you do with when you bunch the waves in the start there, uh, they will all kind of attack that first minion at the same time. And that leads towards the wave pushing into you slowly. And that's what you kind of want to achieve in the top lane. You want to wave push to you, you set it up and freeze for yourself. Uh, but in this case, he, he can put the pressure on it. It is a KO champion that really struggles with these kind of melee stages that she has. Um, so, yeah, he just needs to poke away, poke away, poke away. Because honestly, even if Gregus does come through, Kale's not going to be able to assist too much. Yeah, especially seeing um, Kale's pretty much all melee, um, you know, for the first you know, half of the game. Um, so. Yeah, we'll have to rely on actually getting some range so be able to stay away from the Mordekaiser and farm as well. But yeah, it will be kind of tough in, as a, for a matchup for Kale. But uh, once it hits 16, if, uh, even if Mordekaiser is sending, trying to send Kale to the death realm, I think Kale can hold themselves yeah. in that situation. Yeah, if we get to that stage of the game, Kale can do whatever she pleases, to be honest. If she gets into a pickle, 
uh, pops out obviously for herself and then she'll be just let loose. As you can see in the midst, be like Yasuo gonna be taking full control of this lane over the Kassadin. Uh, the Kassadin just not really having the tools to deal with the Yasuo in these stages. But later on, uh, throughout the game, we are gonna find problems. Oh. Speaking of problems, Cal's in a bit of a sticky situation as well, but Gragas is here, but you were just saying before, Cal can't do anything to help, it's just gonna be the passive as well, and, um, you know, <clears throat> Gragas is gonna come in, realize he can't take that, and walk back out. Yeah, he might do a cheeky regank here, but Sir Dada should just have a nice little understanding that it could come through. No, he flash out from Mordekai, so Sir Dada is going to use the uh, pull as well, but I don't think they can commit too much as well. But here comes Trundle as well, he's going to say something about this. You know, in the mid lane, the knock ups there for him. But uh, Gragas is body slammed back in, but I don't think he's going to get to anything. First Blood comes out for Ignite Ooh. at 101, and uh, 111 rather, and he's going to find himself a double kill as Ignite. Um, finds the counter gank really well, and they just overstayed their welcome a bit too long on the top side. Yeah, so <clears throat> really good awareness, honestly, out of um, Ignatella there. Came through, made sure that overextension, the overstay from both the Gragas and the Kale is punished. Picks up a free double with just Trundle's early game damage is pretty crazy there. Q uh, steals their AD damage, gets those chomps off. He also might be in a bit of yeah, trouble here. In, there's no way he looks there. And we'll just cut to the bot lane as they having a bit of scraps. He's going to survive for a little oh, bit he's, though. He's taking his time before he dies. He's, he's found a little recall in the... He's shooting. Oh, he runs the tower. Execute. Ah. No, no. Just keep your eyes <laughs> on the map. Oh, he's flashed over. Ignite? I don't think oh, they can. Red. No, he doesn't die. He doesn't die! Oh my god. Shin Ramen is here! It was, I thought it was a guaranteed death. He manages to get out of there somehow. That's crazy. I think, yeah, so what happened is he, he, he played around the wolves and they overcompensated, went over, and then he, once they kind of found him finally, he just flashed over the blue buff wall mm. and they couldn't chase him down. Kassin's not succeed, so he doesn't have Rift Walk. What? <laughs> I thought that was going to be a uh, killing spree for, for Trundle, but yeah. yeah I, I thought it was a free kill as well. I, there's no way he should have been <laughs> allowed to do that. Um, they both should have just communicated properly, like, hey, he can... There's only path that he can walk oh, is no. either to this brush or the wolves. Delivery Kale. truck is going to yeah. go... Ah, oh, no! no. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to speak too soon again, but yeah, so Dada actually does uh, pick up the kill on delivery truck in the top lane as well. Um, but yeah, I mean... Um, now we've got two kills on the trundle, and as we were talking about before, he's um, really good at accelerating um, the mid uh, game into the late game. If he does get ahead and he does get that, um, he can kind of hold yep. the team quite sturdily on his arms um, uh, uh, when casting is kind of missing those vital items. Yeah, that's why they call it trundle duty and Sejuani duty. Both kind of have the same principle of just getting their team through the earlier to the mid stages, and then you just, you know. Enjoy the carry from there on in. Uh, just the difference between those two champions, obviously. Uh, Sejuani more of CC based, Trundle more of a damage orientated. Uh, speaking of damage, looks like down on the bot there's a bit going on. This should be heavily favored towards the Israel Morgana. Uh, Thresh just Ooh, never be allowed to do anything, actually. That's a play as well, and the Condemn's gonna land onto the Morgana. The Exhaust pops as well, but meanwhile under the tower, the Ignite's gonna take down for the Thresh. But now he's gonna have to flash out of this one, flash follow as well, and go away. Picks up <coughs> the uh, Ask on the bottom. He was saying, yeah, favoring the uh, Israel Morgana. Yeah, it's uh, a heavy favor towards Israel Morgana. Israel just too slippery for a Thresh. Um, Morgana herself, you know, Black Shield's gonna be very very uh intrusive for a fish no hooks can come through or he can hit the hook but just doesn't do the damage doesn't really cc the morgana he can still take it forward if he feels like it ah uh, but you get a flay and it's not going to do anything to her in that case it, it's really annoying for the thresh it looks like Vayne might not come back <laughs> uh yeah i mean <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we were talking about a 4v4 earlier, but uh, now it looks like it's going to be a 4v5. It's the wrong team. For the wrong team. Uh, oh, never mind. He, he, he's <clears> back. Uh, I mean, that's that's my go-to as well. If I'm, uh, I'm, a, I'm a Fizz player myself, and I'll, if I'm way too greedy on a kill, and I'll get punished for it or something, I'll air 4 and then, and then get regain my cool, and then come back in the game. Uh, so it's good to see that Vantix come back this time. And um, yeah, so Dada has taken uh, delivery truck into the death realm. The... Divine Judgment's only going to take him and delay the inevitable. The yep. thumbs up and my for Nautilus to secure that one as well. 
I was gonna say the uh, Vayne might be just dodging the gray screen simulator. Um, <laughs> Alt F4, while gray screen, you count it down yourself, come back into the game, reconnect, and it's like the color never faded away for you. Uh, but the color is gonna be faded for the Cassidy right now. It looks like Yasuo is gonna get yeah, the same treatment. Yeah, as well. Good solo kill, but um, <clears throat> also good uh, right place, right time for Trundle, and also in order to kind of um, secure that return kill. Um, he actually dies this time. Um, Shin uh, <laughs> Ramana's bay is. It's actually gonna fall this time and um, no miracles there. It's gonna honestly take a miracle for the Prem 1 team here to bring this back. You have an 3 KO, like, sure she will be a champion functioning when she hits those later stages of the game, but right now, uh, she has just hit her range form. She is still struggling, obviously. 3 looks like she's going for a Gunblade first item. But it's not going to really matter once this uh, Mordekaiser picks up their Nash's Tooth. He's just going to chunk away at either the Kale who gets a Bono, um, or the Tower, as well as these objectives like the Rectorial where they're hovering right now. It looks oh, like we've something. Got a three v two. Gragas doesn't know what he's coming in for. Oh, and the explosive cast gonna buy him a little more time. But uh, the flash as well, it's <clears throat> up of the flash bite as well. Ah! Oh, the healing from his person! He gets out banana for days, survives that. Meanwhile, on the bot lane, Thresh has found uh, Israel, who seems to be no support at the moment. Looks like they're gonna go for that, and the Condemn's just gonna push him away. Um, what the hell? Oh, McLean's Prem 1 is surviving it when they shouldn't all the time. There's no way that um, Gragas got out of that one, but. Uh, uh, and now we're gonna have to find another miracle for Shin Ramana's Bay as uh, Morgana is still sticking around. We've got the Black Shield to stay on that as well, but uh, as well as the ult. Oh, and the Flash is getting out! He's on ult! He's oh coming back my. in! No, he was out! I'm sure he was out. He was out for sure. And uh, we see um, Sir Dada getting his, uh, you know, routine meal onto the Kale. He's uh, gonna get more and more fit for that one. Yeah, it looks like delivery trucks just. Taking too many orders from Sir Dada, I should probably tell him to stop now. Uh, the truck is out of service. <laughs> like four deaths right now. Let's play. It is a like, delivery truck, let, all right? Let's, <laughs> let's change our name to the Dada. factory where we're gonna sit there <laughs> and just pack stuff. And this, this stuff is the minions, and we're packing those minions to their death. That's all we need to do right now. We're not trying to deliver anything towards this modifier. Let's let's focus on the CSing. Focus on the scaling because right now just trying to take trades with this mod is just death. Uh, we have Dragon being taken away now. Clearly we had the pressure in mid side and bot. And you've spotted Gragas in the top Take it away. Uh, Gragas, yep. You spotted him out, but it... <sighs> Even if Gragas was there, to be honest, oh, we, we no. could force the fight. Yeah, the Prim, yeah, Prim uh, 1 looking to try to find the Mordekaiser, but uh, he spotted senses are tangling and so Dada backed just in time. Mm, has that Nash's Tooth now, so big, oh, no. big chunk of cooldown for him. It is a 20% cooldown item, 50% attack speed, 80 AP. Um, your basic attack steal, bonus magic damage. The item's very, very obnoxious when you get to it. Uh, good Black Shield, good Reform. Get out of that one. Um, good reaction there. It's going to be hard for Thresh to find anything when you've got, um, you know, you've got the Blink from Ezreal, you've got Rift Hawk and a Black oh, Shield. He's, he's delivering too much again. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, he's got some friends though. Ooh, Let's ooh. See if this is gonna, he's got buddies. Uh, but he's gonna get the. Yeah, he's gonna take some one into the death realm, and Thresh is not gonna have a good time. He's gonna use the death sentence to delay the inevitable for a bit longer. Ooh. He flashes the Q. He's gonna use the play as well. The Divine Judgment buys more, more time. And Bush is the one that survives with the miracle as well, with the flash and the help of others. But now he's in a situation they can't fight by the looks of things. And yeah, Trudel's gonna pick up one and out to two v one situation. Uh, but I think Trudel can take this one. Yeah, he's gonna munch down the- Oh my god, the stasis! He goes and Bush does not want to die! And now oh, the double kill with the Thresh finally gets that one uh, down as well. And back and forth <coughs> fight, but good run up from the Cassidy to uh, finally bring Bush down. And how how long how long can someone survive? Uh, you know, hmm. everyone dies, but um, everyone in everyone in the Clans Prim one cheats death a little bit. It was, um, it was very messy. Uh, good flash out of bush though to stay alive. Yeah. He dodges the, and the then the, uh, the, the kale, kale coming in just in time to yeah keep him alive for that a little bit. So That's maybe a little bit excessive with how much they used to confirm that kill. But that lucky for them, the trundle came through as well. But he kind of picked up a little bit more than he could chew. 
And then Thresh was the one that picked up their shutdown, so it's not really helping your champions that you want to scale, like the Kale, like the Vayne. I mean, yeah, scale. the... So, so Prem, Prem 1, the Red Side, uh, we're trying to set up that, that fight, and it ends up kind of being somewhat of an even trade in yeah. the end. So, uh, they, they spend a lot of time and resources to try and set that one up, and it ends up kind of not getting them anywhere further back into the game. Right now, all we need out of the side of the Prem 1 team <clears throat> like I said, Kale, just AFK farm for now. Uh, you'll become a champion later on into the game. Vayne's kind of doing the same right now. She's trying to catch back up to the Ezreal in CS, but he should always be ahead just the amount of pressure he put on early stages. Uh, and then the Gragas should kind of be looking more towards the mid side, but it's kind of odd that he has Phase Rush, uh, which doesn't really help him too much, but Yasuo is doing good damage right now. Gragas oh, no, in the round. Sir Data. Mm. And uh, yeah, he's gonna say so die die. Um, so yeah, the thresh hook as well. But ah. it's, oh, don't go into that. No, the trundle pull is gonna knock him off to his death as well. And it's um, tower plate falling as well. So they don't get the plate for this, but they do get the tower. And um, yeah, that must have, must have been a fumble or something like that. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know, Shin Ramen is Bay is looking for these fights that he can ultimately take. But um, in the end, you. It's um, trying to, you know, the likes of trying to, ooh, nice. ooh here's the vein highlights we like to see. It's a 1v1, so it's no, just going to auto attack. Ah. Oh no, the Trish Operage almost takes him down. And the Esenergize does actually take down go away. But Morgana, the support, is going to... Can he land it? Oh no, the minion <laughs> can't. She's the Ignite and takes it as well. Yeah. Uh, I consume Bees is going to consume Synergized as well. As uh, they fall as well. Mm. Mm, we've got some support or combat. No, yeah, just going to back off then. Leave so, that as is. Good, good start off by the vein there. Um, making sure you exhaust the Israel immediately so he gets that movement speed debuff, you get your hands on him. You have that little bit of extra damage coming through with the ultimate. Kale's actually doing something now, which is really good to see. Ooh, she just needs to focus maybe shots. a little bit more on the TS at this stage, but luckily for her, it is Cassidy who's probably weaker than the Kale at the moment, I would yep. say. And the Yasuo has done a good job at kind of choking off in the mid lane as much as he can. But okay, I was saying okay. before, okay, the okay. likes of the likes of Ignite, the likes of uh, Daida, know that wow. um, you know you, you need to be in the right place at the right time because Yasuo is going to try and take any fight he can. Um, but yeah, um, Igniter coming up back here again, give it a little bit more friendly support, and um, yeah, Banana for Days is going to do the same. And we've got a bunch stacking up in the top, but the Rift Herald's not really spawning for a while isn't it? No, uh, yeah. Trundle has the Rift Herald currently, yeah. they did take it away. So, so not too sure. Mid -lane tower. Not too sure what they are focusing on at the moment. Like, like you said, Yasuo took away the mid tower for free. Uh, it looks like he is going to rotate down bot side maybe, but it's not going to be too much mains. Uh, has your ulti just coming up, but you didn't have any summoners available. Gragas is soaking a lot of EXP off of a Kale, which is a very bad thing to do. Um, yeah, not what you want when your Kale is behind, but he is kind of yeah. looking for, he's being patient, he's being persistent. Try to get this, um, stop this Mordekaiser snowball. But, um, notoriously, a hard person to gain, because he's lucky, she's just going to go into the death realm. And how much can you delay as well? The Divine Judgment buys a little bit of time, but I don't think that it seems like... Even if you get out of there, yeah, you got a flash and you got like no health. And now Banana for Days has to run out of there because he can't fight that one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, that time he just spent soaking XP, that's got to be all for naught. Yeah. And it's really bad playing a duo uh, or just soaking EXP from someone now. Uh, solo lanes, I just get a whole bunch more. Roughly your mid laner should be around like a level and a half, always above, let's say, a duo lane, such as bot lane. And when you force that onto a solo laner themselves, like your top laner for instance, that's a really bad case because you're going to be a level and a half behind the enemy top laner. Uh, and it's it's just honestly death from there on. And the amount of base that you achieve, oh, the greatest way you do you yeah, have three levels down. Yeah, it's a questionable... Um, oh, they're trying, they're oh, trying. he's got to get the knock-up. Is there. It's the combo that they drafted for. And he's going to find the banana for days. <laughs> uh, all that time spent on the top lane, you do find Sir Darda. But the Trundle Pillar's going to go down there as well. And that is a fed 7 and 1 Trundle. You need to be scared of that. Uh, but the Rift Hero is summoned down bot. The bot tower goes down. And this could be a second charge as well. Um, and as Gragas and Yasuo are the top side. So it looks like it's going to be yeah, falling as well. I don't think they can really defend that. They don't have much in terms of wave control. Um, they do get the rough kill down front. Ooh, and he finds the uh, hook onto. Uh, but the he's black shield. Oh, 
And the Trishop Barrage is going to bring him down as well, but the uh, Morgana Bindings rang true as well, the exhaust there, and now it's an 8 and 1 Igniter who's there to secure the kill, and I was stunned, honestly, at that. I don't know what happened, because the, the hook came through, came through rather, and then, yeah, it followed, and, and there's a little, the, the Black Shield comes from, which means that um, he's working like away from it, mm. and yeah, the box hit as well, but I don't think the slow applied. Um, but yeah, you know, Vayne, I don't think Vayne's at a point at the moment where it, they want to do the two-on-two -two fights. And it was a really good hook, um, by the way, to, to find it, like, just as the ref show went down. But I think you want to try and get, like, um, you know, one, two condemn maybe, and then you've got a little bit of poke yep. coming down, um, rather than taking on the full-on fight. Especially when you knew Trundle was around. Um, but, uh, they thought they could have it, um, but not quite the case. 11, 11, 11 for KO. So, having a little bit more fun in the top lane, but that's a level 13 Sir Dada, and that's going to be a scary look at, yeah. Yeah. And back to home, we're going to deliver some, um, more farm, I guess. He's going to get home. that recall to mm. put stock back into the fountain, but... Uh, this, once Mordekaiser gets back and picks up his stuff, that Leandres is going to come in quite heavy. Yeah, Rylas maybe as well. So it looks like we're getting the Leandres next yeah. off. I will be able to pick that item up whenever he pleases. Uh, it is a very, very big item spike for someone like a Mordekaiser who does kind of consistent damage with the passive. Uh, as well as the Leandres passive is going to be stacking up of that. The 10% is going to kick in really quickly and it's going to allow him to do a good chunk of damage towards anyone. Uh, and then, like you said, once he does pick up a Rollies after that, <clears throat> there's no escaping him. Yeah. He will almost nice like, two shot you. Nice from the Kassadin to get out of there, but Kassadin should be very slippery now. He has the ultimate, he has an Archangel Staff sitting there. Stacking that bad boy slowly. Um, 19 minutes into the game, you should already kind of have tears stacked. So, I mean, it is tricky. Um, you know, the Yasuo has done a, uh, you know, um, Shimon is, is, is been doing a good job at Khan, trying to soak up the pressures because Phantom Dance complete. I'm looking at the IE for the second one as well. And, um, yeah, in, in terms of um, rooms, you were, you were commenting before um, about the Grave Space Rush. Mm. Not your preferred choice? Definitely not. So. Gregus, there's no need for a phase rush. You'll see phase rush on someone that needs a lot of movement to get in and out of the fight. Uh, Kesson, probably not going to go down here. No, it's got the flash, got the report so, as well. I'll just keep going there. over it. Tell them to back off. Now we've got three members down, and they're on the wrong side of the tower. Oh, they're going to still look for it. Nice. And there's the pillar to cancel the de death sentence. And now they're on the wrong side of the uh, shield, this one. And they're going to get the Morgana ult to secure uh, Grishna's place. And now it's going to look like it's a 4 to be 5 fight. The teleport comes through as well. Kale's here. And the uh, explosive cast followed by the Divine Judgment with the Yasuo on it. And Shin Ramen's popping off. He's got one kill, but it's going to get taken down by Igniter. And now it's going to be a, a situation that these guys don't want to be in. The turret's going to be Two. whacking down. It's been stacking up ages. And this is going to be Two another three. kill. Double kill for Morgana. Four for three. And uh, yeah, so that's a four for three as uh, they come out of that one and stayed for too long. Now it's a ten and one igniter. Um, he, with, he, so he's built a frozen high, so he's gone quite mm. defensively. Um, it's really good, that item right now. So what frozen heart does is it reduces the amount of attack speed a champion has uh, in the area. So it reduces by 15%. And when you look at these champions on the side of Prem 1, we have a Yasuo who's very attack speed reliant, a vein attack speed reliant again, as well as a Kale. These three champions are going to be very, very heavily affected by this. And then the sheer amount of armor that will give the Trundle is going to affect the Yasuo and Vayne as oh, well. Oh no, it's Cassin in time by the looks of things. He's uh, looking for the fights. He's got the Rift Walk there as well. But it's probably Vayne has exhaust. Yeah, he's going to try and cut this one away. And um, <coughs> yeah, Samium is in the game, everyone. And Cassidin has arrived. So now, Prem 1 have got to deal with a fair Mordekaiser, a fair Trundle. Cassidin in the game. And this bot lane here that's, uh, yeah, Morgana's actually holding it, yeah, doing quite well. So it's yeah. going to be quite difficult to see how they can pull this one away. Yasuo's, um, you know, holding his own, doing quite well as of late. But um, they're going to try and chase this one down. They're going to try and stop Sir Dada. As, oh, the flash out as well. If they can get the Baron taking a little... Yep. Yeah. No? Yeah. The chase. The chase This is, is when Predator would come in handy. Yeah. Phase Rush, not doing anything for him. But the new Predator, man, that's a, a thing that Ooh, changes everything. No, so ah, he's dead. now wanting to fight. He's, he's put dead. it in the death realm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> 
Over extension. Yeah. A little bit too much of a chase. Once you get towards that state past the river, unless you have complete control with vision of that bad boy, you should never go there. And that's that's just the case there. Um, like even if he did kill the Mordkaiser, there were two other champions there waiting for him to come out of that bad boy and he would have been gone skis. We're still looking for these hooks. It's it's a struggle right now. What we need to do is not be here. Uh, leave the blue buff alone. Go back to focusing on these mini waves because we're going to get into a lot of trouble trying to take this blue buff. Here it comes, maybe. Yeah, no, they get out. Scott, but Cassidy's coming on his way. But it looks like Trundle doesn't want to do anything. Must have a fair bit of gold in his bank account. He sure does. Twenty five hundred. Uh, see what he kind of looks for. In that case, is he going to go for a Titanic up? Uh, the TMA upgrade. Uh, are we going to look for more tanking? <laughs> oh, stone plate's going to be the plate. option. Um, so yeah, it's yeah. so not only is can you so what they're kind of doing with this build as well. Uh, actually, Brian's going in huge, but um, no, Ooh, yeah, they're trying to blow it up as well. And uh, Bush secures this kill on Sanium, but uh, it's a double kill for Israel. Now he's back in the game. They're looking for fights. Mm. It's not on their way. Uh, it's the kind of that's been the the story of this is they've been really really hunting for these um, engages. Why do I see a face rush on this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what you want to do is not really build both sheep items on Israel. Uh, currently, this death stance is very, very obnoxious and broken. That's what you want to be focusing on. Here. Looks like he kind of wants the move speed phase. We'll give him in that extra hit point. Uh, interesting to see. 50 50 smile. Who's going to take this bad boy away? It's Kale! Kale! Kale comes in! He's been a, it's been bullied the whole game, but now he's gonna try and turn the fight as well. Kale goes in, but ah. it's a one big force situation. Ah. Now, gets the shot down onto the Morgana, and that's all it's gonna be. But now, uh, now he's delivering for real. Oh, he's delivering a bear <laughs> buff to his team. Delivery trucks back in the game, and maybe they're gonna hold off a little bit longer with this uh, Baron. But yeah, I thought yeah. Um, but um, yeah, we've got the reconnected. Yeah, uh, as you were saying before, get get away from the uh, gray screen by mm. killing it down yourself. Um, but yeah, with the likes of a stone plate and the um, frozen heart, it's going to be really obnoxious in those like late game team fights, and so it's going to be really hard to, to initiate the kind of one three ones as well when you've got the likes of a castle. And now <laughs> delivery trucks going to be delivering more kills to the enemy team. Uh, and threat um, Castle's looking for more, but going to leave it at that. But uh, yeah, Kale's getting there. I mean. Currently, what, what level is Kel at the moment? We're level. Um... You don't get to see when she's dead. Oh man! I believe she was level fifteen as she level was. 15. So almost level sixteen. Almost got that. Um, fifteen yeah. or fourteen, yeah. So she's a, still a little bit behind in EXP on the Mordekaiser. I think like half a level behind him, so she might have just hit fifteen. But yeah, she is getting to that stage where she's going to be a full-fledged champion soon. But the race is against Cassidyn, who's one level away from it. Mm. Um, and, and also yeah. with oh he's stacking there ah oh, look at him look yeah. at him no he's he's found four of them though and that's going to be the hook there as well followed up ah, with the <laughs> yeah um, and he's dead and uh good catch good catch as well and it's going to be really important <clears> because um dragon's up in a minute um and that's going to be oh. soul point for um prim three well, this trinity force third item is real now i'm very confused <laughs> so we're already going to be over capping cdr once we pick up the Trinity Force, we have Ionia Boots, we have the 5% uh, so on his ring set. We have 20% coming out from Gauntlet, and 30% is kind of like the magic number when it comes to most champions, and 35% is a little bit better. 40%, the difference between that and roughly like 30%, 35% is very, very minimal. Uh, and you can normally pick that up with blue buffs, like Cassidy's not going to be taking these blue buffs away. He has a Seraph, he's, mm. he's pretty stacked on mana. You can just pick that up as the Ezreal and go from there. Uh, unfortunately, he's not going to be healing like a like a truck with Death Science and where you can just E into people uh, and not get flamed by your teammates because you will never die in that scenario. Uh, looks oh, looks like no, Vayne's going to be taking the death. The Vulgarner as well, but he's going to try to oh, fight it, but the stasis keeps... Uh, I, I can assume B's alive for a little bit longer. Vayne's got one, he's got the Kadem as well as well. And now it's going to be 2v2 as well, the explosive cask. Yeah, meanwhile on the top lane we've got uh, Tudata finding a delivery truck again and the Divine Judgment's gonna do nothing. And now we've got three chasing down the big fed trundle. Mm -hmm. The oh, shotgun goes over. So, uh, Sun Ramen is here, gets that one. And uh, yeah, in the end, 
uh, yeah, they find new fights. They actually win now. The, it was unfortunate they got the um, the hit by the Morgana, but uh, in the end, you know, Synergize got got a kill out of that and got a little bit of damage out before falling as well. And um, yeah, they, they held off the two v two as well. And now they've got a bit of grass in this game. Oh, I thought, <laughs> yeah, they should so get... long there actually. Holy yeah. Me. Okay, Smite is doing 800, but he waited till he got to 600 health before he smited. Mordekaiser is going golden time. How's this going to unfold? Uh, he's got 2v1 situation as well. He's got no death run to save him as well, but the teleport is going to do that job. True Shot Barrage is going to miss Yasuo, but here comes Kassin for the cleanup crew. He's got the mop and bucket. Explosive cast is going to do anything. Double kill for the Kassin, and he's going to look for the triple as well, and that's going to be... Oh my god, Synergize going for the one, but it's going to be shut down by the Kassin in the end. Triple kill in the end for Sammy. <coughs> and... Um, yeah, good job for the teleport and in order to keep and Sudara buying as much time as he could. But um, you know, Vang's getting to the point where he's, he's becoming scary. Even you know, he's got the rage blade, he's got the um, play of the wrong kick, yep. and he's uh, and phantom dancer as well. So we are actually hitting all you know three, four items. And um, although you know it's been pretty much ping three all the way, um, it's getting to a point where they could get a footing in this game if they get uh, a few more dragons. They keep denying the um, mm. the side point. And they can keep stealing barons with delivery trucks somehow. Um, then yeah, you know, head level sixteen for um, Kale. Uh, so yeah, I like game champions um, that need their level sixteen spike. We've got um, Cassidan and Kale heading level sixteen. Two Dar Dar on seventeen, and uh, yeah, Yas was on level fifteen. Um, so he doesn't have the kind of um, you know level three ultimate yet uh, for the last breath. Um, but Bang is still level 14, so he's still got a bit of ways to go. Ah! No! Okay, Israel did the big naughty and he sold all his items to the buy Destines. Oh no. Is he stream sniping? Might be stream sniping here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, must yeah. be because I kind of pointed out Destines a few times, or either his team told him, but yeah. what you'd never want to do in most cases is sell back items just because of the amount of money you, you lose, lose in that yeah. case. Uh, there's a couple items that are very efficient to sell back. It used to be like Dark Seal, you would only lose yeah. out uh, a very, very minuscule amount of gold, roughly like 50, oh, I believe. Oh, no. Uh, the Wind Wall goes up a little bit too late, and the Ignite, and as well as the uh, Pool as well. Ooh, Ooh, the pool. And uh, Vayne's in a really sick situation. Almost kills Kassin before going down. But in the end, it's just going to be... Oh, no, and uh, here's Cal wanting to pick a fight as well. But he's got three other members on the side of him as well. The Redemption there as well. 3v5 situation. I don't think they win this. This could be the end of the game as well. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, we've got one leaving the game. And they're just going to get chased down on this one. No one's falling just yet. Cassin and finally getting that kill. And, uh, oh, my damage going. to the Gregors. Yeah. It's gonna this be is, nice uh, looking like it could be we'll a GG if game. we wanted. 30 seconds, uh, or 40 seconds on the Gregors, on the Kale. Uh, Thresh ticking down. Yasuo has disconnected, so he isn't even going to be here to fight this one. Bane's going to be left alone. 1v5 if she does revive. Please let the Vayne have a 1v5 moment. Come on, let's clip it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, no. no. Like, <laughs> Prime 3 is going to take that one away, but uh, with those circumstances, they did forfeit the match. Anyway, this was a little bit of a short match. Fun. Yeah. So, Prime 1 yeah, do um, take the win officially, but yeah. Really, really, really fun game to watch as well. Had some, yeah, if, you, if anyone could clip those great escapes we had as well. The Yasuo in particular, we didn't actually get to see it on stream, but you just saw it on the minimap as he's just getting his way up there. So if any members uh, of this team get the recording and show what happened there, it'll be good to see in, uh, next week's Logic G replay of the week. Uh, but that's been all that we have for this week. We've got two more weeks left of the regular kind of season of this as uh, championship as well before we go into the playoffs. Um, but yeah, that's what we have for this week. We'll be here at the same place, same time next week. I've been Ian. We've got Hannah here. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Have a good night.